What's up everyone, Full Animix here. Welcome back to the Underrated Gem series. Today we are going to be talking about another isekai. And the anime in question is Jojo Senki. This is one of my favorite isekai shows that I have watched. It draws a lot of parallels to Overlord, not just because it's an isekai, but its tone as well. It's actually quite surprising how similar these shows are. At the end of the day, I personally like Overlord a little bit more because of reasons. But Yojo Senki is still a great show. Now you're probably asking why this show is an underrated gem. It's like an 8 out of 10 on Mao. And the answer is, I, I don't have one. To be honest, I'm just hyping up the show for season 2 like I did for my Overlord video. And I feel like no one's talking about this show nowadays. Hey, did you guys know that Konosuba came out at the same time as this show? Anyways, without further ado and without more procrastinating, let's talk about the saga of Tanya the Evil. Yojo Senki is about a white collar Japanese man called I'm trying my very hardest to sound like a dick who gets reincarnated as a girl in the supposed country that is to lose a war. But wait. How did he know this? It's not like this country is like anything else we've seen in past history. Looks totally different. And this all transpired because I'm trying my very hardest to not sound like a dick, said that God's album wasn't that good, and he got mad. At least I think that's what happened. Thus, Tanya must survive this similar world using magic because they have to make it abundantly clear that there are differences in this world. Now, war is something that anime hasn't dived too deep in. It mostly ends up being moe girls doing war things. But with Yojo Senki, yeah, people die. As well, this show can be a drag with the amount of over-explanation there is about war tactics. But with the addition of magic and some downright psychopathic actions from Tanya, this show becomes very enjoyable, even for the simple-minded people like you. The show isn't overly held down by historical accuracy, but it does stay within its boundaries of little girls flying magical items in the 1920s. But another aspect of the show that is interesting is the supposed antagonist antagonist. Being X, aka the biggest troll that you'll ever see in Battlefield 5. Being X is the supposed god that I'm trying my very hardest to not sound like a dick, pissed off and reincarnated him into Tanya, which ironically creates one of the most compelling protagonist and antagonist relationships. A girl who must pray to god to survive, but is the most secular person I have ever seen in anime. Their first interaction is god stopping time and him saying, ha ha ha, where are the cameras? This is a prank, right? You guys got me. Where are the cameras? Why are there no cameras? But the whole idea of Tanya as a protagonist is an interesting concept. Someone who's demonic but intelligent, ruthless but respects those that have earned it. But all around, Tanya is a fun character. You have intellectual scenes of Tanya and someone else talking about God knows what, no pun intended, and scenes of Tanya blowing herself up in one episode. She has this bent personality that is intriguing enough to watch, not to mention all the other characters she interacts with. With that said, the side characters are not overly bad, but they can be forgettable. Like right now, I've actually blanked out on what I was going to talk about. <laughs> the animation is also pretty good. It's a little different from the manga and the light novel where some stylistic choices were changed, like Tanya's eyes for production purposes, but I still like it. But here is where my controversial opinion comes in. I didn't really like the OP. I know it was made by the same artist as the Overlord OP, but I just don't like it. Maybe it's because I don't understand it, but that's kind of redundant because I didn't really understand the Overlord one. Overall, this show is still very good. I really like the pacing, I really like the characters, I really like the setting, I like the action, I like a lot of it. But there's also some scenes where I'm just going like, why do I like the show again? But I humbly got reminded of that when I watched the movie, and it is super duper lit, and you guys should watch it. And most importantly, I'm just really excited for season 2 because I, I've been missing the show. And when I rewatched it recently, I was just like, I need more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.